Hi, my name is Emu, and on this video series I'm going to review the $25 mobile game controller. So what comes with the controller? The controller itself, a USB cable, it's USB Type-C to regular USB and a manual. The controller supports phone sizes from 50.4 inches close to 68.8 inches fully stretched or 125 centimeters close and 165 centimeters fully stretched. The controller comes with 350 mAh battery. When fully charged, it lasts to 18 hours with RGB turned off. It supports Steam Deck, Windows 7, up to Windows 11, Android smartphones, and of course, iOS 13.4 up to iOS 17. I've been using this controller now for two weeks and I have to say I'm quite surprised how well it works for how much money I paid for it. But to be honest, if you're thinking about to get one yourself, I would only recommend to get one if you're gonna use it for emulators only. You might ask, why do I say that? Well, let me explain. As you might see, the analog stick layout really doesn't support games like Call of Duty Mobile because there is no place to rest your hand and it feels quite uncomfortable to hold, but I think you get the idea. Alright, the pros and cons. Let's begin with the pros. It supports a variety of systems, it fits most of the biggest phones as an example Samsung S23 Ultra with the phone cover and the same for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, it has RGB and can be turned off. To be honest, that's crazy for the price range. Alright, now the cons. The buttons are very small and feel mushy. The quality, well it's cheapest plastic I ever hold in my life. After pairing your controller and let's say you turn it off and you wanna use it again, well it's not gonna automatically connect like an Xbox controller. You have to go to your Blotus settings and tap on the controller name in the Blotus list to connect it. Now this could only be me, but it this controller to correctly pair and you need to put a button combo that it gonna put it into the right mode. And to be honest, the manual is like not the best help either. But let's say you get the controller, use the PCX input Bluetooth mode and you and you good. And whatever you do, don't lose the manual. Well, let's wrap this off. What do I think? Should you buy it? And are you the right person for it? Well, ask yourself this. Do you want to spend 100 plus dollars for a mobile controller? And what games do you want to play on it? If native phone games and especially shooter, then I say you're not the right person for it. But if you just want to enjoy retro games like Game Boy Color, PlayStation, Nintendo 64 games or even PSP, then I would say go for it. Now for me, it became my daily driver and I give it a 6 out of 10. With that all said guys, if you like this kind of review, you might like this one here. I hope this will help you out to decide if this controller is the right controller for you or not. And if yes, please like this video, subscribe and turn on the notification button guys to, do, to know when I post the next video. And with that all said guys, I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Have yourself a good day and bye bye else. Keep it cool and stay awesome. My name is Emofi Gaming guys. Hey, now bring out of here. Peace.